Hey, this is Nate Mill. In this video, I'll show you how to repartition your internal storage on your Kindle Fire. You will need to have the Team Win Recovery flashed before you can do this, so you can check out my other video for that. To show you an example of what I mean by repartition the internal storage, let me go to Settings Storage here. And you can see my SD card storage is almost 6 gigs. Yours should only be 5 gigs. And my app data space is 376 megs, which is smaller. I took the space out of that and put it into the SD card. So I'll show you how to move that space around. Again, you will need to have the recovery flashed before trying this video. So the first step will be to plug your Kindle Fire into your computer. We're then going to shut it off. And you will need all the drivers installed also. You should already have them installed if you went through my other videos. Okay, let's turn it on and boot to recovery by pushing the power button till it turns orange. Okay, you're then going to make a backup. This is important because when you resize your data partition it will format it, so you need to restore it later. So we'll go to backup, backup now. Okay, let that finish before continuing. All right, when it says your backup has completed successfully, press the main menu button and then leave your Kindle at the recovery screen. Again, you need to have the recovery screen up and plugged into the computer in order to repartition the storage. Next you'll need to go to the link in the video description which will take you to here. The fire parted utility, this is what we'll be using and big thanks to this guy for making this awesome tool. You'll then need to scroll down to here, things you'll need to do first. First we need to have ADB working. So to test that, let's go to command prompt, cdc colon backslash kindle adb, adb devices, and you should pop up here and your device should be listed as in recovery. Okay, so that's done. We have the drivers installed. Um, you need to have a custom recovery installed, which we do. We just made a backup. You have to have Net Framework 3.5. If you're on Windows 7, you already have it. Otherwise, you can download it and install it. Number four, we have Fire Fire Fire. If you followed my other video. And our device is in recovery mode. And that one that one's optional. Okay. So then you'll download the tool, which is right here. You click this link. The download will automatically start. If it doesn't for you, try in another browser. It'll look like this, zipped up. Go ahead and right click it, extract all, extract. So it's over here extracted. I'm going to open that up. And I'm going to launch the fireparted.exe. Click run. Go ahead and click OK. You should read this. This can be risky, just FYI. Alright, it says done, ready to go. We're going to click read partition table. This will tell us our current sizes of the partitions. So these are my custom sizes over here that I just set when I was testing this program. Yours will probably be different. What you'll want to do first is archive your data partition because, as I said, when you resize it, it gets formatted. So this will back it up, and this will take a couple minutes. So 
I'm going to pause. All right, it says it's done. So now I can change these over here. So say I want less app storage. This is your app storage. This is the SD card partition, which is where you can store music, videos, that kind of stuff. And the cache partition here. So I'm going to decrease this a bit. And when you decrease one, you can see the unallocated space here. That's space you can put into a different partition. So I'm going to put this to 350. And I'm going to increase my SD card partition. All, all of the unallocated space. Okay. When you change it up however you want, I'll change this to 250. Put that in the SD card. And then I can hit apply changes. it will erase your data partition and then you'll see them writing here it takes a couple minutes again so I'm going to pause alright it says it's done partition table successfully written to device don't forget to restore your data partition so to restore the data partition we'll click right here restore data from backup Again, this will take a couple minutes. Alright, so since it's done restoring, now all I have to do is press reboot device right here. And you should see your device reboot. Might take a while to reboot the first time as it rebuilds your cache. And hopefully all your data will be restored. If it's not, I'll show you what to do. Okay, so as you can see, my data did not get restored. My phone looks almost completely stock now. But if I go into the settings and the storage, you can see that the partitioning took effect. I have more SD card space, less internal storage space. So to get my data back, all I have to do is restore the backup I made in recovery. So I'm just going to shut off. and boot to recovery, the same way we did last time. I'm then going to go to restore and restore the latest backup and hit restore now. When it's finished restoring I'll push main menu, reboot, system, and once it reboots all our data should be there including the changes we made to the partitions. Alright, there we go, we're rebooted. And as you can see, everything's back to how I had it. And if I check the storage, it's still all changed.